The National Assessment of Education Progress, also known as the Nation's Report Card, recently released alarming data that reveals a significant decline in math and reading test scores among 13-year-old students in the United States. This decline in academic performance has been observed over the past decade and has been further exacerbated by the pandemic-induced school closures. The test, conducted between October and December of the previous year, included approximately 8,700 students from 460 schools. The results indicate a troubling trend, with the average math scores for 13-year-olds dropping by 9 points and reading scores declining by 4 points. Experts equate a change of 10 points to a year of lost or gained learning, emphasizing the severity of the decline. I mean, I think the problem fundamentally is that this, this country has a serious problem in math and science, and it runs through every demographic, every socioeconomic level, it runs through every, every state in the country with a possible exception, and we can talk more about this with, of Massachusetts and Minnesota. Notably, these decreases were consistent across different demographics, affecting all racial and ethnic groups, genders, and urban, suburban, and rural areas. A contributing factor to the decline in academic performance is the doubling of student absenteeism since 2020. The data highlights that the lowest performing students scored at levels last recorded in the 1970s. Furthermore, enrollment in algebra decreased from 34% to 24% among 13-year-olds between 2012 and 2023. The concerning state of academic achievement is not limited to 13-year-olds. Similar assessments conducted nationwide for 4th and 8th graders over the past year have also revealed distressing trends. The doubling of student absenteeism since 2020 has been identified as a contributing factor to the decline in academic performance. U.S. history scores among middle schoolers reached the lowest levels ever recorded since the assessment began in 1994. We intend to provide current issues in 5 minutes video packs, Support us through your likes and shares and subscribe our channel as well. It's our belief, and, and, and many people share this belief, that education is the backbone to a solid economy. That you can't have a skilled workforce if you don't have strong schools. So if our schools continue to produce at a mediocre level, then we will not produce the amount of skilled workers necessary um, to fill jobs in this country, and people will go elsewhere. Companies will go elsewhere to find those skilled workers, and they already are. Additionally, the decline in reading and math scores among elementary school students further emphasizes the widespread impact of the changes in education during the pandemic. To address these pressing issues and promote post-pandemic academic recovery, experts emphasize the need for a comprehensive approach. This includes addressing students' mental health, basic skills, and absenteeism. The urgency for action is clear as urgent interventions are necessary from federal, state, and community leaders to ensure the educational success of students and prepare them for their future endeavors. Hit like and share if you enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe our channel.